it will become 43.5 okay like that so all button work okay like that you can just copy pause and change the hello everyone welcome back to coding scratch okay this video we continue the lesson 3 variable practice in puzzle 6 that talking about the variable and operator okay so you can see this the left hand side is our app okay so i don't know what does this app do okay we read the instruction first the counter pattern is okay it's my word equal to my word plus one okay the expression on the right my word plus one okay this this right side we call it the expression that is evaluate first and after that it will be assigned the value to our variable my var okay the new value is then assigned to my var okay like i mentioned this pattern lets a let a variable count by whatever amount is at okay so do this okay run this program to see what it does make sure you click both button okay um write code to make the plus twenty dollar button work the command so you will okay first we run it and after that you click both button five button okay when you click five button this text will become five when i click five again it become ten okay it mean it's add up okay so click one more it will be add more five dollar but when i click 20 nothing happened it just played the sound so that is over what we have to do is write a code to make 20 dollar plus button work as the five dollar button too so it's quite simple you just see this the uh, such a sample here okay you can add like dollar okay dollar is variable equal to dollar and after that plus 20 like that after that if you after you plus it with the counter pattern already you can set property okay set property to variable or to the label dollar dollar label and after that with the tag is like you can see this the law sign and we concatenate it with dollar okay over variable that just add 20 dollar here okay you can make it a little bit spell like that to be readable okay you can reset and run again plus five okay you can see five but when i click 20 it will become 25 okay when i click again it will become 45 because this time we add if you click the add 20 button it will be at the new value is 20. if you click 5 it will be at 5. okay 20 becomes 75 like that okay so that's all for this we finish it okay so like you can see fit the cat on the left screen and this is the text input here and this is the button okay what it does what it wants us to do okay the counter pattern can be used with string too okay you can use counter pattern with string okay run the program to see how it's run now note a new block that takes on line 14 okay that is the, the new the new code here i just click run and fit the cat okay now i drag it to be faster like wrap it here okay now i just click hello i click remind okay hello will be add after the cat then i click again it will be add more right hello i say not hello i say hi okay hi 
you can see the text that I input to this box. When I click Remind, the text will be become here. And after that, it continue usually. Okay, continuously here. Head up. So read the to do this add code so that each remind is add to different line on the screen. Okay, remember the new line character. Okay, it is quite simple, right? Um, what it want us to do when we click on the remind button, the hello is not continue after cat. It will be go to another another line of code, right? So you can click on the where we can edit. So this is our variable that get the text. Our variable that store the text from the this box. This box is called reminder input. And you click on the reminder button. It will be get the text from that box. And after that, it will be assigned to the new reminder here. Okay. So our reminder. Okay equal to all reminder plus or concatenate with new reminder but in the new reminder before we add it we can add the new one is that we call it like we can see here is the slash n because last n is make it to be in the new line here so i reset and run again and hello and remind okay you can see the hello again hello again 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 okay it will be go to the new line. Okay. It finish. Add code so that reminder input is clear out when you click the remind button. Okay. When we click the reminder, the hello word. So up here and after that, it will be clear. So after you get a tag from the input, you can clear it. How to clear it? Okay. You just set property to the text input or reminder input with the text and after that you can press the quote and after that you you left it playing like that okay reset and run again I say hello reminder after that it will be clear like that okay hello like that okay awesome if you need to refresher on your pattern you can always check help okay okay this all for the puzzle seven that's all i think you can see all the process that i have edited and change it okay so you can follow me i finish it continue okay in this puzzle we have um variable that uh, the the local rival and the global rival. So you can come up here and read this document. It will be useful for you to be um con to be clear to be understand what is global rival and local rival. Okay. So maybe I create another video that talking about the global and local rival to be more clarified and this code so this time we have practice okay so if you want to be more clear you can um, read this document here okay so i just guide you something is global is the variable that we can use inside or outside the function or on even we can use it but the local variable is the type of variable that can use only in the function or in the even on even here okay so like you can see for the first global when you declare the variable outside of the even outside of the on even or function that we call it the global variable and you can use it everywhere in your code okay so the local the local variable is a variable that we use or we create it inside the on even or in the function. And we cannot use it outside of the function or on even. Okay, so this is the main 
meaning or main purpose of Bukalu ball and Bukal Rai ball. So we go up to the next puzzle to to see what is Bukalu ball, what is look ball. Okay. Okay. So this program has a scope book created by accident solely using a local rival okay so do this read the yellow warning why may you see this when you create a local rival so when you hover on the yellow warning here you can see that the rival click is defined but it's never called in your program so you can see this click right so this is also click why it say like the click is never called if you use it here okay so that's why this one is the global rival you can see here i come in here it is global global rival right global rival but these two click here this two click is not the glue ball rival. It is another rival, but it is the same name. This is one rival. This is another rival with the name is click. So it is different. Different. It is not the same. Okay. If you console that lock, click here. Okay. You will see this is the zero. Okay, zero here. But if you like print, no, and show the lock here, not print. I print this click. This click is not zero. So click. Okay, after I click that, click this button. You can see it is N A N. This, this. So this zero is this mean it is global right ball, but this right ball click it is nan why because it has no value assigned to it so it has nan like that so don't be confused we have two different right ball one is glue ball one is local here so if you want to click plus one button and make the zero to be one so what you have to do is just delete this bar button so when you delete this bar button, it means that this click is the global rival. Okay. So first one is zero, zero plus one, it will be one and assign it to the click rival. When you reset it and run it and press, you can see it is not NAN anymore. Okay. You can see it. Okay. Like it mentioned, remove bar command inside the on event to remove the local rival. So now we have only one global ball right ball that is click okay i hope you understand and you puzzle 10 okay so this program keep track of the money collect hit and ticket show for performance there are three rival already created that store the cost of adult child and senior ticket here okay so do this Run the program to see how it works. Make sure you click the three button. Run it. When I click adult ticket, no adult not work. Doesn't work. Child ticket. Okay, I drag it to be faster, to be rapid. I reset and run again. Adult. Okay, adult is work. It is twenty dollar five dollar in one ticket. When I click more, it will become twenty five dollar for two ticket. When I click child ticket. Okay, child ticket doesn't work. Senior ticket. Okay, child and senior ticket is doesn't work. Okay, it doesn't work here. So add code to make child and senior button work. This should increase the total number of the ticket and the total money collected. Use code for adult button as a guide. Okay, you can use a code from the adult button to be as a guide or sample. So it means that you can copy it and change something. It is enough. You don't need to write a code from scratch here. So the play sound, we you still play and you can see like that. Now I copy this. Okay, please watch 
me or look at me. The ticket is, I think this ticket equal ticket plus one. It is still the same. Increase dollar, okay? Dollar equal to dollar plus adult price. So it is not adult price anymore. It is a child price. You can add a child price here like that. Dollar tag dollar ticket. It's still the same, right? So I have done for the child. And after that, I pass here. And after that, I put it like senior price. I copy it and pass here. Senior price. Okay. It is the same, right? Nothing. Correct? Adult. Okay. Adult. Trail. Trail dollar. Trail dot five. Okay. To the to ticket twenty five. If you add the child, it will be age and fifty age and fifty dollar more. Okay. Age dot fifty. You can see here. And after that, you add a senior, it will be at ten dollar more. It will become forty three dot five. Okay, like that. So all button work. Okay, like that. You can just copy, pass, and change the adult price to child price to senior price like that. Okay, finish it. A new. Okay, this is called AP pseudo pseudo code variable. Okay, so it has one assignment or like practice here to it's one urge to choose the correct answer of this few or uh, to this pseudo code. So practice question. Okay, what will be displayed after this code segment is run? So you can see my point. This arrow, left arrow key, it means that that is equal to equal sign to assign two value to my point variable. After that, my point assign assign five to my point. After that, my point equal to my point plus one. It will be six, right? So the answer is six. Okay, the six. Okay, not six. Okay, six. Submit it. Okay. So hey, another one here. So this time is yours. Okay, let's think together. Okay, we assign this random number. Okay, random number between one to ten. B random number between ten to twenty. And then display A, display A, display B, display B. So A between one to ten. So which one? A between 1 to 10. 1 to 10. So that's all is 1 to 10. After that, display B, 10 to 20. 10 to 20. I think the answer is that 1, 1, 20, 20, 2, 2. Oh, hey, this one. I think this one. Submit it. Ow! Incorrect. What is answer? One, one. Okay, all this one. Display A, A, B, B. One, two, ten. What is that? <coughs> No, this one. Okay, that's all for the lesson three. Okay, see you everyone in the next video. Okay, don't forget to subscribe my channel and click like and hit subscribe and bell button if you can learn something from my video here.